Today's short film is Mice, a small story. It is an epic Lord of the Rings type adventure by Isard Digital VFX and Animation School. If you haven't already, head on over to their YouTube channel and subscribe. If you like films like Lord of the Rings, if you like movies like The Hobbit and Harry Potter, you will definitely love this cute little short. I highly recommend you stay all the way till the end and come back for a recap discussion. And here is Mice, a short story. Bravo, I love this animation. Superb work. Animation is spot on. The acting of the mice, I don't know how the students got it, but it's just incredible. Perhaps it was mocap, which is, but I don't think there was any motion capture involved here. So, Isart did an amazing job teaching their grads. Kudos to you. Now, let's dive in right into the short film. Definite Lord of the Ring vibes and a lot of little Easter eggs. I don't know if you guys caught them. In the beginning, the popkin says the Shire, so that's your first clue that they 
give a huge homage and shout out to Lord of the Rings. So we've got the mouse Frodo, I believe it's a field mouse, and it finds in a sewer a a pup tab. It's golden, just like the ring is in Lord of the Rings. Immediately, we have the protagonist, the big bag owl, and clearly the eye with the well, the ring, which is when I got the inclination that this is obviously a, some sort of a parody of the Lord of the Rings. At a minute 28, I believe, the lights say I O T R, and obviously, if you take those two together, you have L O T R, which is Lord of the Rings. The battle scene where the rats were head on with the field mice, I'm assuming. Hugely reminiscent of the Lord of the Rings fighting scenes, as well as Braveheart. Of course, if you're a child, you probably don't want to be watching Braveheart. There's even a famous Hitchhack camera move where it sort of zooms in, it's almost like a parallel, where it zooms in as it pulls the camera out. Beautiful music all throughout, great sound effects. There is a lot of light versus dark, good versus evil. The ending, of course, nobody can deny how funny it was when the big honcho owl got plowed right through with the train. Beautifully executed acting, very sad at moments. There's actually two sad scenes. One is when the big brother is protecting the others and then he unfortunately falls down. I don't know if that was a cliffhanger type of a thing moment, you know, when Sylvester Stallone's holding the um, the girl. And of course, towards the end, when again, they're fighting about the popkin tab and the rat takes it away. Before holding it up and the owl snatching it almost before meeting its inevitable death, which is definitely my favorite part of this short film. You let me know what you guys thunk. Obviously, there's no way you guys are gonna give a dislike because of the animation, because technically, it's just superb. Right on top of the Hollywood big budget movies here, and it was done by students, which is even more mind-blowing. So kudos to SR Digital and everybody who worked on this short film. But is there any additional messages that you think you can extrapolate from this film? Or did you spot any additional things that I may have missed that connects this movie to Lord of the Rings? Leave your comments below. If we get a lot of comments, we will do an interview with the directors and our animators from the short film, just the way we've been doing it on the live action shorts. Also, head on over to the community tab. That is where we've been posting some of the films that are sort of buried in our index of catalog and and we have so many live action and cg shorts coming up in sci-fi comedy horror and other genres so make sure you click that bell so you can get notified when they do appear smash the like button and remember to subscribe that's what keeps us growing that's what keeps us going